Okie dokie. Yo. Welcome to part two. <laughs> you actually. Oh, I misspelled honorable. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me just fix that. Um, in a sec. There. Oh, fuck. <laughs> there. Oh. Right. Mm hmm. So, let's just move on to the honor honorable mentions. I may make small comments about certain series. Like, it may be unjustified, but it just annoyed me in some way, okay? Yeah. Here they are Isekai Smartphone, Nights and Magic, Princess Principle. I'm really sad it did not make it. I really like this, though. I really like this, but I don't feel like it's in my top 20. So, really close, but no. Konohana Kitan. Kino no Tabi, The Beautiful World. This is actually a pretty good series, man. I really recommend people watching to watch this. I catch the records of Bastard Magic Instructor. Recreators. Sainai Kara. Oh, okay. Tomoya. The male protagonist just annoys the hell out of me. So, yeah. I regard that as a down point. So, it didn't make it. Zero Kara Hajimeru Maho no Shou. Oh, man. Gabriel dropped out. <laughs> I, I love this series, man. I love this series. <laughs> Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, I love this too, man. And Masamune's Revenge, Masamunikin's Revenge. Yeah, that's all. So, so, what are top twenty? Yeah, what are my twenty? So we start off with Hoseki no Kuni, Land of the Lustrous. Oh my God. <laughs> if you compare it, the art style of the manga version and the anime version, it's actually the anime version. Anime version is actually a pretty big upgrade, I have to say. <laughs> and one thing about the line of the lustrous is that I am really, really satisfied with how the story progresses, especially when it gets to you know the plot twist part. Yeah, when it gets to that point, it's it starts to starts to get so good and comes episode 8 you're like oh my god people need to people need to watch this like this is what I feel about that about this series Land of the Illustrious so it start up it starts off pretty slow you're very fairly annoying protagonist so keep on going just watch it just watch it all the way you will not regret this. Next up, next up my list, Aramanga Sensei. So we have comedy in here, a little bit of perverted stuff in here, <laughs> and all in all, all in all, mm, I would say this just ignites a flame within you that you might want a little sister like this like like her you know being cute and all <laughs> so yeah it just satisfied that part of me you know <laughs> next we have Yokoso Jitsuryo Shugi no Kyoshitsue oh man that's like a trend with the light novel scene where you can grab attention with super long titles and this happens to be one of the few which are really really good so in case you don't know about this series man it's actually pretty exciting like you have this main protagonist who pretends to be average really he's just pretending to be average he's actually like a manipulative smart ass okay <laughs> Alright, so 
to brief to really summarize what the title translates into, it's like "Welcome to the Classroom of the Elite." Yeah. So all that matters is your performance. That's all. Yeah. And they have a point system, where the point system actually reflects to how much. Allowance they are actually able to get because they are actually staying in the dorm of the school of the elite school. Okay, I might add. So their performance, their attitude, stuff like that, sabotaging. They're sabotaging, man, and all that stuff just to just to be able to get pocket money for for those from below there, and for the elite, it's to To retain their statuses as the elite amongst the amongst the elite, all right. So it's actually really, really good. It's really, really good. I really, very, really, really recommend anyone who has not tried this series to go, go for it and finish this. Next, new game. Haha! <laughs> I just love new game, man. Like you have cuteness, you have a bit of story, and. A little bit of lewdness, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, and you get a little insight to a gaming industry, like how does a game come out? Yeah, just a brief one. Like I don't think it's exactly that detailed. <laughs> like this must not, this cannot be it. Yeah, you know, this is just part of it. Yeah, like yeah. So yeah, I just love this. I just love this series, man. <laughs> Anyone playing Kirara Fantasy? Yeah, like I actually have the five-star version of Aoba, who is this purple-haired twinkle. Yeah, lucky me, eh? I I really softly I rewrote so much just to get her. <laughs> how how many times did I actually rewrote? Let me think. Um, I think I can't count. It's about 20, 20 plus. I should be rolled about 27 times, I think. Yeah, just to, just to roll her. <laughs> ah, man. All right, next, Yuki Yuna. Yuki Yuna is a hero. Oh my god. Like, if you don't cry watching this, if this doesn't pull your heartstrings to the freaking maximum, ooh. Then you're heartless. You're fucking heartless. Oh. Really, emotional shit just makes me love it so much. Like this is one of it. You have. Okay. Uh huh. It's not just Yuki Yuna. This also includes Wash, Wash, Washi, Washiosubi, Washiosubi's arc, which is. First part, the first part of the second season. This is actually the second season of this, and they started off with a some kind of a. You could say that it's a prologue, prologue of Yuki Yuna, and this is what follows. Yeah. No, and then what happened in season one is what follows, and then we have the second part. So six, six episodes of the prologue, and then followed by first season. But then, just watch it in order: the first season, and then the prologue, and then so-called epilogue. Like the feels just hit harder that way. Yeah, I feel that it's presented in a really good way that you don't need to watch it according to the timeline. Watch it according to what season it's going on. Like that's that's just wonderful presentation, man. Right next, Imoto Saerebai. Oh, <laughs> this this series is just hilarious, man. It's just hilarious. Ah, um, you have quite a bit of parodies, like tabletop card games, stuffs like that, and then really really lewd stuffs. <laughs> 
na naked hangouts, stuff like that. Between girls, by the, by the way. Like, holy, holy hell. Oh, man. What, what made this series so enjoyable? It's really the humor. It's really the humor and how, how they present the stories. Even, there's not even one episode, but one crazy episode. <laughs> okay. They actually did a survey for the majority of the staff member of this anime. Yeah. So, are you a fan of mutes or underwear? Or both? <laughs> are you more of a fan of the mute? Or are you more of a fan of the underwear? Or both? Personally, um, I'm personally a bikini guy. Okay. Hmm. So underwear. Yeah. And you, you have this amazing credits where most of the staff member have their preferences listed. Like, <laughs> you have their name mute, you have their name underwear, you have their name both. Oh my god. Oh man. Next. Next. Mahotsukai no Yome. Mmm. The ancient make us bright. Like, there's just something so beautiful about this series, man. The story is beautiful. The art style is beautiful. Um, the characters. Yeah, really captivating characters. Um, and also the main protagonist, Shisei. She is really one that you would sympathize with. Like, her past is just shitty, man. Um, one thing about this series is that I really... It really is recommended that you check out the OVA version before you go into the team the televised version yeah so if possible if you have the time just go f watch the OVA version before coming into the TV anime version hmm next we have the meme smile sister so yeah blend ass the meme is just exploding man <laughs> even PewDiePie is using it Scratadu Floratu <laughs> Did I say that right? Did I actually say that right? <laughs> so ah, Like there's really nothing that I can pick about this That I can dislike about <laughs> It's It's hilarious It has great characters <laughs> What more can you ask for a For a Slice of life comedy, man. And then you have this freaking trap. <laughs> trap. All right, full up. We have two more to go. Gamers. Ah, oh, I'm a big fan of the order of gamers. Yeah, because of the Seto Kaido Ichi Zone. I really like the way the humor is presented. Like some of them. Like literally episodes that make me laugh out loud. <laughs> great expressions, great presentation. I, uh, there, there really is nothing much to pick about this, except that the characters can be kind of annoying sometimes. But that's ju that's just it. They're supposed to annoy you to make you laugh. <laughs> so to make you laugh later. Yeah, that's how I should be saying it. Mm. Like. Really, just great humor, great humor. And last, bullet room in Yokoso. So, there's really not much to pick up, like to say about this. Just that I really, really love this series. Yeah. Halfway through the anime series, I started to read the manga version. And oh boy, it's so good, it's so good, holy hell, it's so good, every chapter, I love it, <laughs> every chapter following where I left off, I freaking loved it, and 
It's one of those anime series that even after you read the manga version, you would still find the anime version to be good. Like you would still feel the excitement of watching it. That's just how good this series is. Like it's it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And it's pretty crazy how beautiful they are. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm a fan of slender girls. Like the more slender kind of slender kind of girls. But if they have a voluptuous chest, then that's a pretty big bonus for me. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Right. We're actually done with the 20 series, man. Wow. And this didn't take long. I'm really, really surprised about this. <laughs> Just what I wanted. Not too long, not too short. Mm. Right. So, comment down. You don't need to list all 20 of them if you've watched to this point, okay? So, just list five. Five that you enjoyed. And maybe a few that you would possibly want to try from from watching this video, yeah? All 20 of this series that I have listed over here, including the honorable mentions, I enjoyed them a lot. Like, that's really, really, they're not there for no reason at all. But, top 20, what I listed. The rest, the honorable mentions, they're good, but there's just some stuff about it that kinda, mm, I don't think I should put this into the top 20. So, yeah. Remember, once again, it's not according to order. Yeah, it's not a ranking. It's just what I enjoy. What I enjoy watching. So, I'll see you in the next one. And, next video will be Ayaka's Road. Alright, it's gonna be in before the age already first episode in before the age wow <laughs> you just surprised me so much Ayaka even in the epilogue you do this you do this stuff like this <laughs> mm. Mm. so it appears that the drilling has stopped the drilling work has stopped so I should be able to resume recording from now on um, right now I only have these before the age and the age scene recorded so yeah freaking finally right um on a side note this is after New Year's so January 4th this is this is recorded on the January the 4th so it really is only until very recently that the drilling actually stopped so really sorry that I have not recorded in like two to three weeks two to three weeks man I would love to get back to playing Ayaka's route and I really hope you enjoy it yeah so hmm. peace